What, what was your, what was your, what was Sebastian, Sebastian. Hey, let's move to the side right here, bro, come over here, Sebastian. What was your opinion of the fight, man? It was a good fight, it was a good fight. Canelo did what he was supposed to do, you know, I thought that was going to happen. Any surprise uh, when Munguia went down, did you think that the fight was going to be over then? What did you think about it? Uh, honestly, watching him walk in was, uh, uh, you could see like a little more pressure than usual. He wasn't fighting the way he usually fights. When he fought Ryder, he looked really smart, really he used his range a lot better. I think uh, the jitters got to him with this fight. What do you think about the Ryan Garcia no news problem. that just came out a couple of days ago? Ryan, uh, after a big, big win over Devin Haney, uh, popping hot for heads, unfortunately. Uh, looks like we're going to have to wait for the B sample, but the first sample came back contaminated. What do you think about it? Hopefully, you know, hopefully he says but it's not true. But I hope it's not, you know, because that was a good win for him. If, it's, if it is, you know, that's very disappointing, you know. Uh, uh, he proved a lot of people wrong. So, so to, to hear something like that, it's not good. Let me answer this. For the, for the fighters that's caught cheating, PEDs or otherwise, what should be their punishment, in your opinion? They're going to get suspended. They already have those punishments, but, uh, you know, it's... A lot of fans are gonna lose interest in him. Uh, cheater's a cheater, you know, it's, it's not okay. Look who it is, Samson Likowitz. What'd you think about Canelo's performance tonight, Samson? Hey, I don't know if Samson, he can beat uh, doing the same night. Like you say, he can beat Benavides. He be a mismatch with Benavides. You think it Benavides never happen wipes anyway. Canelo out? It will never happen. It'll never happen. Never, never. How quickly are you willing to start negotiating with Canelo Alvarez, given if you guys no, get the victory on June 15th? On the 15th. Right, you After got the fight the 15th, on the 15th, that's correct. we we'll see what Mauricio says. So we wait for that. Excellent. Yeah, were you absolutely. over? Were you impressed with Canelo tonight? Absolutely. From one not. to ten. Absolutely. What do you rate his performance from one to ten? I would say seven. A seven. And I bet it on the money. On the money. But beside that, I believe that he's very smart. Canelo. He cannot fight Benavides. He be a mismatch. He went out. <laughs> Maybe four rounds. You think he life. should stay away from Benavides? Yeah, is that right? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, he should stay with him. Well, they've been talking he, about. He went out fight anyway, so what's the difference? They've been talking about Edgar Berlanga uh, possibly fighting Canelo. That'd be horrible. Sebastian. That'd be horrible. Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian. 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 Think about the August 3rd card in your backyard, SoCal. Gonna be in LA. Terrence Crawford versus Madrimov. What do you think about that matchup? Looking to get a chance to get in the title contention now and, and force fights with you guys. How do you feel that fight goes? It's good. It's a good fight. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen Crawford fight in uh, a year, so we'll see. The last fight, really, really good. You know, Majinov's a tough fighter. I spar with him. And strong, smart fighter. So we'll see what goes with that one. What, did you, what do you think about Tim Zhu turning back around so fast after that big cut on his head against a big puncher like Virgil Ortiz Jr.? Uh, that's going to be August 3rd as well. We'll see. We'll see. Because... Uh, we know Tim Sousa's a uh, warrior, you know, uh, he looked very good, you know, with our fight, he made a, a, a classic, but uh, Virgil Ortiz, 147, he hasn't fought anybody at 154 really yet, tough fighter though, tough fighter, so we'll see with that one too. Do you feel like you need to have a rematch with Tim Zhu based on the way that things ended? Did you just feel like you need to get that squared away? I don't have a problem with it, I love it, I love it, but, you know, we got a lot of names calling us out, we got Crawford, we got Spence, we got Virgil Ortiz, we got Ryan Garcia, so look. Let's bring it all. How are you doing physically? You look you look to be back in good shape and condition. Uh, how's your body holding up after a big fight like that? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, after after the fight, I felt great. So, you know, uh, I'm on top of the world right now. I'm unified champion, so I feel great. Was your nose indeed broken or just a bloody nose like you probably had many times before? The doctors had it the way they had it. You know, I'm not a doctor, so I can't speak for it. So. <laughs> How do you feel about Ryan calling you out after his victory? He's not in my weight class, you know, it's like calling him from 140, it's like when Kel Brook uh, uh, fought Triple G. You know, it's a different fight, of course, but, you know, that's two weight classes down. We'll see if he really does come up with 54, but if he doesn't, it's all good. I don't care. <laughs> Thanks, bro.